my friends. Sorry I'm late today. I, um, so where I live, there's a little tea room. And on Tuesdays, they have broccoli cheese soup. And I had to have that and a cucumber sandwich. So I waited till after lunch to get on here. If you're wondering, was it delicious? Yes, every single bite. It was scrumptious. Now it's the first day of spring. And I want to use some of the new Kiko Milano. They sent this over. This is their spring collection. Now there's two palettes here, but we're, you know me, I'm sorry. I'm gonna use the more spicy one. Plus this is just so springy and pretty. I'm so excited. But if you don't wanna get too wild like me, look, look how pretty this one is. This one is something that we will wear all the time, but look how pretty this is. Y'all, Kiko Milano, top notch on quality. All right, we will eventually use this one, but you know I have to use this because look, look at this. Y'all understand what I'm saying. That, look how pigmented that is, and that's a green white flip. Let's put this on. Plus, let me show you the rest of it too. Also, I'm sitting in front of my window. I'm not gonna do this all the time because yes, the lighting is very, very nice. Um, it's not always going to be really sunny and also sometimes especially when i'm reviewing things they don't show up as true to color the color temperature isn't always as true because the lighting can be inconsistent but for now it's really fun and it's a fun spring day i love this palette this looks very fun to me plus look how pretty this is but what i like about it is I'm really into this color. I kind of wish that they had just done these separately because I know that this isn't gonna work for a lot of skin tones, but I wanted this color alone because I wanna use this underneath my eyes. I feel it's a very pale pink that could be a little bit more um, multi-use, so I'm really excited for that. But it is a very pretty palette, but it's really only gonna work for fair and light skin tones. And we're just gonna go ahead and get started, but we're also gonna talk about the Dior Glow that I posted the other day. And I wanted to do a really fresh look, so let's do a clear base today. And once I get done here, I gotta go repaint my fingernails. I got things to do. But first, I had to eat that sandwich and eat that delicious soup. That was very important. Let's grab our C31. Make sure it's nice and even. The hair, I gotta get the hair on my face. I might just put it back up in my clippy. I'm gonna use quite a few colors from the palette. I'm gonna try to at least, y'all know how I get. I'm gonna start with this shade and I just grabbed it on a fluffy brush, focused it on the center, and then I'm just gonna do a wash of color. We're just having fun. Just having a little bit of fun. I'm actually not gonna make this eye look too complicated. Three hours later, later and then I'm drawing lines on my face, but <laughs> I'm gonna try not to make it complicated. Now I'm gonna grab this shade and I'm just using the E29 for now. Let's add some definition. I feel like sometimes we forget we can just lay down a wash of shimmer and then come back in with the mattes to shape a little bit. Ooh, these mattes are creamy. How nice. Ooh, that's nice. Let's go ahead and just tap to transition in a little bit into this uh, above the socket. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a little bit of that shade and then I'm just darkening this up a little bit more. Now we're gonna add some more fun colors. I'm kind of excited. See, the lighting's already changed. See, I wanna sit here because I want my window, but it, it does get wild. Now I wanted to do this color. We're gonna grab our E27 here, smaller brush. Let's go ahead and put that right here. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna bring it out of the socket too. But notice that I'm only putting it right here. I'm gonna put something else there in just a second. Probably gonna go ahead and just put this color, that first color we laid down. Oh my God, these are so creamy. Yeah, that's perfect. And then, then I wanna use this shade. I know y'all knew I was gonna use this shade. Let's place it over this way. And then I'm trying to decide. I think we'll put the purple on the bottom lash line. That'll be fun. So I'm doing wing liner, but 
I use this Milani liner and I don't love it. I'm having to relayer, relayer, relayer. I, I shook it. It's brand new. Um, let me hop over to my other side here. I don't, I don't enjoy this. This is not for me. I'm trying to, it's their stay put tank eyeliner. Mm -mm. I'm just going to go over this real quickly. So much better. I'll find us another more affordable liner, but that was just, no. This one's so much more precise too and so much darker. That was betrayal there for a second. Okay, I forgot how much I really like half lashes, especially with a wing. It's very, it's very jean. It's very kitty cat. I love it. So these are Libre Lashes style number six. All right, now let's talk about the thing that has now disappeared. It was right in front of me. Was, oh, there it is. <laughs> ah, you try to move. We're out of it here. Um, so this is the Forever Glow. We posted a reel on this. You can go watch that reel. And then I'm going to show you some different ways to use it. Now, I in the video, I tell you why I like it. It's just very thin. It's very, very glowy, though. Do you keep in mind? If you do not want glow, you might not like it. I'm gonna show you on one side of my face. Where is Sheila? I still have eyeshadow swatches. We don't need green mixed in. So on one side of my face, I'm going to apply it the way that I did in the video. So let's just go ahead and I just kind of work it in a little bit, but I still use a brush. Oh, look how pretty it is though. Oh, I'm telling you, I love it. I'm gonna wear this alone and just powder, but there's other ways. We're not there yet. I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm getting excited. Okay, let me grab a C42 and then we can wear it under foundation. I'm gonna put a, another foundation on. This is not a foundation, but what I'm saying is I'm going to put a foundation on top of it. And then I still have some here on the back of my hand. And we're gonna save that and we're gonna mix it in with our foundation. So underneath foundation, it's going to be more subtle. Especially if we use a foundation like the Cover FX one. It's going to, if you use a light coverage foundation, it's going to peek through a little bit more, but this is a foundation that's very in between. It's a very satin. It's not matte, this right here. It's not matte, but it's also not dewy. It's not a dewy finish foundation, especially not once it's set. But if I put my Cover FX on top of this, then I'm kind of changing that and turning it into a little bit more of a glowing foundation. Now, woohoo, that match. Now, if I put a very full coverage foundation on top, okay, if I was to put it on top of this, it's gonna completely cover it. I'm not gonna get the glow. But if you wanna take your extreme full coverage foundation and you wanna thin it out a little bit and you're gonna add glow, all right, let me finish my thought here. So under, we're just gonna have a mini glow. That's what we're gonna call it, just a little baby glow. But if we take, remember this is the Dior, if we take that and we mix it with our more full coverage foundations, it's going to give that a glow. Now obviously it would give a light coverage foundation extra, extra, extra glow. But if you have a full coverage foundation that maybe you're just not, you're not really friends with at the moment, adding a product like this to it can kind of change it for the better, give it a little bit more life. Um, it's going to thin out the coverage, it is, but it's going to add extra, extra glow and maybe change up your foundation. It kind of reinvents your foundation in a sense. It's a foundation reinventer or just wear it alone. But again, it's really going to change the formula if you're using a light coverage foundation, but it's going to slightly alter and add some glow to a full coverage foundation. Look how pretty it looks. So you can see this difference over here, even with power play. So underneath we still have all of that coverage, but we definitely have more glow than power play normally does. But on this side, when you mix it together, it's extra glowy and there's not quite as much coverage. So it's a good demo. All right, now I'm gonna add just a little bit more foundation. Oh, there's some. <laughs> How was your day going? Well, I didn't remember I had foundation on one part of my hand. That's how my day is going. Perfect. Just wanna add a little bit more coverage. 
and then you could add it to concealer it but it's the exact same rules with concealer and i have been able to mix it wear it that way wear it under wear it alone and it doesn't mess with wear time whatsoever okay so i'm doing my lip tinted concealer today shade 20 very brightening as you can see look how that blends out so blendy blendy I want to really clean up my wing. I haven't done that in a long time. I want to carve out that wing. Put a little bit of concealer here on the back of my hand, just a little bit. Grab a C30. I don't feel like I've done that in a little while. It's very fun. And then just tap to blend it. I think I'm going to do concealer through here too. We're really concealing today. You know what I sometimes miss doing? Is actually just doing my makeup into a palette. Ooh, that's so pretty. But I just, I forget it. I forget doing it because I'm always doing it into other mirrors and even into my phone most of the time. But just kind of sitting here and watching makeup blend into a mirror, into a hand mirror like this, is so nice and somewhat nostalgic for me. I'm just going to take that. See, I always feel like I need to get in here for y'all. It's more about y'all these days, but that was fun. <laughs> oh, and by the way, the brush that I'm using is this one over here. This one right here. Apparently, I don't know how to work this. It's that one. It's the concealer brush. Um, we're still running this still, where instead of 135, it's 100 for all of this, bag included. And if you missed the brush that we released, um, this one, the, the second one over here, that one's going to be very very similar by the way this is the bronzer that i was telling you about this one's from physicians formula listen i think this is one of the first products they've ever released that doesn't have a smell <laughs> it doesn't have the physicians formula smell but it intrigued me and i wanted to go try it out it does look a little bit warm but we'll see what it looks like on the skin and i wonder if there's more shades of it i'm gonna go double check that what was this no, that's a highlighter. It might only be the one shade, but let me investigate. And let me go film this really quickly. Okay, so here's my thing. I absolutely love it, but we need more shades. I, I actually don't even want to post the video because, like I said, the formula is fantastic, but there's only these two shades. And I even use the darkest one. So if I'm using the darkest one, meh. But if you're very fair, you might really love this color. Um, but before I film videos on it, I just, I feel like we need more shades. So Physicians Formula, you're onto something here, but we need deeper shades. But it is really pretty. And I actually find it more blurring on the skin than the Milani, but the Milani has more shades. So hopefully they will take that and give us more shades in that. But now look at this. Back to the Kiko Milano. So you can use these on your lips and face. Oh, and I think eyes. I think that these are, oh, yeah. So these are going to be eye safe pinks. This is exciting, but I need to teach you because we can't just be like, la da 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 da. Oh, no, no, please. Let me help you. Now we're going to use one of these as blush i'm trying to decide which one i wanted to use Ooh, this one um shade zero two and for my cheeks i'm gonna go ahead and i am gonna just use the applicator but i'm never gonna use this on my lips and i'm sure most of us know why by now i will use this on my cheeks but i'm not gonna use the applicator on my cheeks i'm in on my lips now i'm everywhere <laughs> because bacteria and then if we ever wanted to use it on our eye, that bacteria from our lips is going to go to our eye. We don't want to do that. But it is still a product that if we want to get it off with a brush, which we will do, we'll use this on our lips in a little while. But if we ever want to get it on a brush and put it on our lips, we would that would be fantastic. But we can't go back from here and then go back. You know, somebody's starting makeup every day, so I just don't want to assume that we know. But what's going to make these really cool is watch this. I'm going to just blend it out. Super easy blendy. Oh, that is pretty and blended like a dream. And then with whatever's left, I'm just going to take some and add some of that 
to my eye because it's eye safe. And if I want to grab more, I absolutely can, but you can see that it did add a little bit of a peachy glow. These are awesome. And then if you're thinking, Rose, I do that with my blush anyways, I love that. I love that you're doing that with any blush, putting it around the eye, putting it on the lip. Sometimes the artist in me wants to do those things. But I have a duty to use things that are technically lip safe, technically eye safe. When I first started, I was using plastic glitters all around my eye. I was being very artistic. I never had anything happen to me, but I realized that I was creating a community and I care for you all so much that I always want to let y'all know when something is eye safe, when it's not eye safe. So that's all I'm doing. Never feel shamed. Do not be like, well, I'm using my blush, should I not? You can continue to do whatever is making your makeup art sing, but I do not want to tell you to use something and it hurts you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set, I'm using my Givenchy powder today and my Rosenbin Beauty setting puff. Oh, Jean's lost. Oh, he's just lost. Will he ever be found? Wow, I love what the peach did through here. I do want to see what this color looks like underneath my eyes. Pink is a brightener and fair to light, light medium skin tone. Sometimes going over a little bit more. Just depends on what you feel comfortable with. Oh, it's really blurring and smoothing. Look how pretty that looks. I knew this would be a really good pink powder. I knew this was going to be a good pink powder. Oh, it pins up to something. Wow. No, okay. Wow. This looks really, really good. I want to try it with a little bit smaller brush. Only closer in here. Do you see this brightening? This looks so nice. I want to use more of it. We'll use it again, but I really got excited for the pink powder. Now I want to try out the bronzer too while we're here. We might as well. We're going to grab our C40. I feel like Kiko bronzers always look lighter in the pan, but they're always a lot more pigmented. That's really nice. I've never, I really haven't been disappointed with it. Excuse me. Oh. All right, hang on. What am I witnessing? What, what is going on? Don't you have other things to do? He just jumped up on me. He's like, you're not in the right spot. I don't like you here. And knowing that, I think he just took off, took off half of my face makeup on this side with his drooly face. It just went across mine like a golden retriever. Are you done? Can Julia hold you now? Are you comfortable? You smell like perfume. You have on honeybee? Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah my cat smells like it. But <laughs> <laughs> you're a good boy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can dry down this drool spot. <laughs> oh, I love him. Wouldn't change you for the world. And then let me finish bronzing up this side. Oh, I like the color of the bronzer. Nice. Oh, he snagged. Oh, he snagged. Did we, did we unsnag? Sorry. sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Jean, we love him too much. All we do is cater to him 24-7. So I just swatched this. This is one of the highlighters. Look at how pretty that is. Look at the base on that. That's going to be really pretty for deeper skin tones. But also, put on your makeup seat belts. Only because you'll know how addicted to pink highlighters I am. Look at this. We have, oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. I, and they're so smooth. I'm not gonna use it today because I wanna do a different look with this. Both of them are stunning. Look how this one completely disappears. Oh, there it is. I'm so excited. All right, now let's finish up our bottom lash line. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the clear base underneath here. And then I need an E27, which I had, and then I now I don't have it. There's one. Oh, here's the one I was using. That's better. Let's take that, wipe that on Sheila. And then remember, I wanted to use the purple. So excited. Oh, 
This is my ideal springy eye look. Oh, I love the purple. I'm going to finish this one in just a second. But for now, I was just going to take a little bit of this shade and just lightly press that on the edges. Fun. All right, look at this, by the way. Well, did I tell y'all what I paired it with? I paired it with the Rosy Brown 420 Kiko Milano. Hang on, I'm gonna show you. The one that I use all the time. This one's my absolute favorite. I think it might be sold out. Um, that's the exact name, 420 Rosy Brown. But look at this. It's pretty transfer proof. Look at that. If I mean, I don't even think I see anything. I don't know. I just know it's not coming off and it's so pillowy. And so this stuff will dry down, which is really good, which is, it's, that's what makes it a three in one. We want it to kind of dry down on the face. We definitely would want it to dry down on the eyes. So I think this is actually a really innovative situation here. Plus the packaging is really pretty, but I know it's not about packaging, but at least the product's good and it's pretty packaging. All right, so this, this collection they did, this might be one of my favorite collections ever. It's 10 out of 10 for me, I love it. All right. That's it for today. Happy first day of spring. The base looks so good. Everything. This is a good makeup day. I'm gonna go wash my face because I need to film more. So that's sad, but also fun. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. Don't worry, we're gonna use this one next. I know that not everybody wants to run around with the greens and the blues and the purples, but these are gonna be quite fantastic. I'm really excited. Um, and that's what the outside of that one looks like. And then the more spicy one that I just used, that's what the outside of that one looks like. And again, I know it's not about packaging. Y'all never really hear me talk about packaging, but it is really nice when you have a really an amazing formula and something that's fun to look at. So that's my thoughts on that. Ooh, I waited for, till now to show you, but my friend Veronica here in our family of makeup just maniacs, look what she had. She sent me her MAC Blue Brown and then this extra large tub. I forget how big these used to be. Okay, this is a discontinued shade from MAC and the shade is violet. And I remember when I first started makeup, I forgot how I got it. I think somebody gave it to me because they purchased it and they were never gonna use it. I fell in love with this pigment and to have it right now is so nostalgic and my makeup heart is just absolutely singing for sure. So I'm so excited, but she also sent, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. She sent my mom a little present. She, Cause my mom, y'all know my mom loves perfume. So thoughtful. I love you so much. All right, now I gotta go. I love you all so much. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Okay, see you tomorrow.